hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching you on how to install the shop pwa e-commerce cms so kindly watch carefully on this video so that you understand how i did this so now you go to your c panel your c panel here is my c panel now you go to your file manager so here is my file manager i'll be uploading this file on my publish html just kindly watch carefully so that you understand how i did this sorry you press on after you go to your publish html then you press on upload here is upload then you press on select file press on select file so now you go directly to where you kept the file so i'm going to where i kept the file As you can see, I'm using here is the file. So done. As you can see, I'm using my mobile device to do this. So I think you can also use your mobile device to do this more better. So please kindly DM me if you need this script. I have the script. If you need it, I'll be posting my WhatsApp number below. So you will contact me through there and get the script. So let's wait, let's let it do it to 100% then so we can go back to our server. Let's just wait for a few minutes. Let's wait. Now as you can see it has reached to 100%. Let's go back to our server. Now as you can see here is the script. It has been uploaded successfully. Let's refresh this page. Then we will need to extract this file. Let's extract the file. The file has been done extracting. Now you delete this file because it has no use anymore. As you can see, there is two files here. So you delete the file you just uploaded, there, then you leave the folder. The folder is where the script, everything is being installed there. So let's go. Let me still refresh this page. Uh, let me go to my publish HTML, which is that same place then you click on the shop you click on the folder please make sure you click on the folder i'm using my mobile device to do this now as you can see you see this install zip you need to extract this file you need to extract it so let's just wait so that this file will be done extracting Let's wait. So not take much time. Now as you can see it has been done extracting. Let's copy it to our publish. Let's move it to our publish HTML. Let's move it to our publish HTML. So as you can see, it has been moved successfully to our publish HTML. So now let's check if this site has been live. Let's check it, if it has been live. So you can check on your own device to see. So now, as you can see, the our site has been live. So let's go back to create our database. Let's go back to create and before you create your database, okay. Let's go back to create our database first. So let's go to our database. Please watch carefully so that you know how I did this. 
Well, that abuse here, name you can put anything of your choice. Let me just put anything of my choice. You can put anything of your choice as a database name. So I'll be putting the same thing as my database name and my database usual. I'll be putting the same thing there. You can also put the, the same thing. Just put anything. So password. Let me use the password that was generated for me. For me. Here is the password that was generated for me. I'll copy it. Please make sure you copy this password and save it on your phone tab or anywhere. I'll need to save. I'll save this letter. So let's use password. Let's use password. Good user. So now all privilege make changes make sure you follow this step then let's go back to our file manager let's go back to our file manager please watch carefully if you do not see this en env on your uh, file please kindly click on these settings click on these settings and make sure your your setting is on web root publish html dot www dot and show hidden files here hidden files and here then you save it so it has already been saved on my own so you need to go to here let's edit this let's edit the file so you will need to copy your okay yes let's go let me go back let me go back i will need we will need to copy a database username let me go back to copy my database username because i already have the password so make sure you copy the database username and the database password then so let me copy this then let me go back to there now you go back to your file manager you go to this en you edit the en press on edit you edit it so now please watch carefully so that you know how i did this so let's go to here, let's just say root, this uh, database usual, delete this, please do this carefully, then you paste the database usual, then you go to this place, I will shop, you cancel it, remember my database usual, my database pass, uh, username and the database name are the same thing. So I'm putting the same thing there. Then you go to data database password. This is my password. Then as you can see, let's check if there's anything more. Alright. There is nothing again we need to do. You go you uh, you press save change. You press save change. Congratulations, it has been saved. Then you close this folder. Now let's go to our sites. Let's go to our sites. Now you can press the domain, your domain to check if your site has been live. So we'll start the installation. So as you can see, our site site has been live. Let's start the installation process. So everything is correct. Let's just see it. So now. They say put the uh, uh, purchase code. If you have the purchase code, you put it. You just press continue. Remember, this is just a demo. I'm teaching you guys on how to do this. Now, they say the database host. You write local host here. Local host. Then here you put the database name. And the database username. 
Data Base Visual Name here also. Here is the password, the database password. I think I made a mistake. Just make sure you put the database password correctly. Then you press on continue. Now, as you can see, your PC, your database is being successfully connected. All you need to do now is to hit the installation button to auto install. Will run as right. Let's press import SQL to so make sure you watch this very carefully so that you understand how I did this. Now you will need to put anything of it, just put the admin. Right, for example, let me just put admin name, my name admin email let me put my email and admin password let me just put anything because this is a demo remember this is a demo okay so you put anything as a password then you can set any currency let me just put the united states and press continue so congratulations to us as you can see Let's check, they say our site has been live, so let's check if truly the script has been installed successfully. Wow, so as you can see, it is loading. It is loading. It is loading. Now, as you can see, this script has been successfully been installed. Please kindly DM me if you need this script. I will give you for a cheaper price. Thank you for watching this video. May God bless you.